As the Ukraine-Russia war continues, events on the Crimean Peninsula continue to have a major impact on the region. According to the latest developments, explosions are reported to have taken place in the Cape Fiolant area of Russian occupation Sevastopol, and it is claimed that Ukrainian intelligence and the Ukrainian Navy are behind the scenes. Local telegram channels in Crimea and the Russian Defense Ministry confirmed that explosions were heard in the Fiolant area in Sevastopol. At the same time, a telegram channel close to Crimea reported an explosion at Cape Fiolant in the area, where the Radio Electronic Signal Intelligence or Air Defense Unit is located. Another detail showing the seriousness of the incident is the information that ambulances are running towards Fiolant in Sevastopol with their sirens on. Traffic on the Crimean Bridge was temporarily closed, and the Russian Defense Ministry announced that it shut down two Ukrainian drones in the southwestern part of occupied Crimea at 8.30 p.m. and shut down another one at 9.30 p.m. According to intelligence sources, the explosions in Sevastopol were part of a joint special operation of the Defense Intelligence Service and the Ukrainian Navy. The planned work of the DIU and Navy continues, the coded sources emphasize. Mikhail Razvozayev, the so-called governor of Sevastopol claimed that the smoke in the South Bay area was a camouflage device. If you see smoke in the area of the Southern Bay, don't worry. According to the Russian Black Sea Fleet, they are using standardized aerosol camouflage agents. Yes, the smell is unpleasant, but it is absolutely safe. Everything is fine in the city.